So you've already learned that Leeuwenhoek was the first person to observe uh, the world of the microbes, the world of tiny living things that we cannot see without a microscope. Um, in the time that Leeuwenhoek investigated the world of the microbe, some of the first ones that he saw were what we today we call protozoa. These are relatively large cells, still need a microscope, and these cells here are about the same size as the cells that make up your body. Another major group of living things that Leeuwenhoek saw were the fungal cells. These cells are just as large as protozoal cells, um, but some of the fungal uh, groups actually grow much larger and form structures that you and I call toadstools and mushrooms. But here on this course, we're only concerned with the single celled fungi, which are the microbes, the so-called yeast cells. So Hohenhoek saw both of these groups. Another group that Hohenhoek saw were the bacterial cells. He was the first person to see these as well. In this image, we have the bacteria known as E. coli. That's its name. And this is a famous bacteria often associated with diseases such as uh, food poisoning. A group which Hohenhoek did not see were the viruses. The viruses were not seen until the 1960s with the invention of the electron microscope. In this image is a virus known as SARS-CoV-2. This is the virus that is the cause of the disease COVID-19. COVID-19 is the disease. This is the name of the bacteria. Uh, I beg your pardon. This is the name of the virus. And this image here is one of uh, the viruses that caused that disease. These are the four major groups of microbes, protozoa, fungi, bacteria, and viruses.